now we are about to have Professor A. Kogus Ian, Dr. Distinguished Professor Park University, and kind graduate secretary in my lab and also my institution. And then we are very good here. In addition to that, I have also Thanks to Professor Sumi Patro, who is my brother and also now doing very nice work as I agreed to deliver this lecture. So now I request Principal Maharaj to felicitate Professor A. Ho with our traditional hopes, notes, and others. So, to him, come here. Now, our Respected Principal Maharaj, felicitated Professor A. Bose.
most respected professor Varun Ghosh and also Professor Patro and uh, other distinguished uh, scientists and faculty members of different institutions, research scholars, so the credit there. So on the very outset, I welcome uh, Professor Varun Ghosh, distinguished professor of Art University and Professor Patro in NIT Rauskala on behalf of all students, all faculty members, and uh, all of the members of RKMDBC uh, in this very beautiful afternoon. And uh, also, I uh, express my uh, gratitude to the professor, the, the professor uh, Rune Ghosh, because he's uh, only few days uh, to he has came to India, and from tomorrow onwards, he actually in visited many places in uh, India for lecture purpose. Very happy, and uh, immediately after that, he has to fly over to, uh, to uh, US. So, in this uh, very hectic schedule, he uh, is very agreed to come here and also uh, spend a few hours uh, with uh, our faculty members and research scholars. So, I express my gratitude to Professor Ghosh on behalf of his college once again for coming here uh, in this uh, in our institute. So, his uh, topic is uh, very interesting, inspired with uh, natural products, it is remarkable thing. And interdisciplinary, so all the students of chemistry and students, special research for the uh, modern immunology, all will be benefited from his uh, very uh, enlightened talk, which is because he is a uh, uh, master in this field for several uh, years. So, in this period, I uh, want to get thanks to everybody who are present here, and thanks, Professor Bose and uh, Professor Patro. Once again, thank you, sir. Now I request Professor Ghosh to deliver his valuable lecture on Bioactive Natural Product, New Chemistry and New Frontiers to Web Medicine. Professor Ghosh. Thank you so much for your kind introduction. And I would like to take this opportunity to express my deepest regards and pronouns to Dean Swam Maharaj. He was very, very kind, that was very good, and I'm so happy to be here. So today, I'm going to tell you what we have been doing in our laboratory at Purdue University. I know this, this lecture is for students, and I would like to give you very brief introductions about various areas of our research. So I think at the end of my lecture, all of you are going to have something for you to take home. Whether you are a synthetic chemist, whether you are a biochemist, whether you are a molecular biologist, or a natural product chemist, everybody is going to find something from my lecture. So my lecture is first I'm going to tell you our interest in natural product synthesis, nature. Nature provides us molecules. Nature makes molecules, and there are zillions and zillions of molecules. Only only handful of molecules so far has been discovered, and these molecules are very intricate and many important biological functions, and they are very often become today's medicine. So those of you who are students here, one thing I'm going to tell you: if anybody asks you, if anybody asks you. What is the greatest invention in medicine? What is the greatest discovery of medicine? What would be your answer? So, no matter who asks you this, and that answer would be penicillin. Penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928. It's an accidental discovery of natural products, and that became in 1944. So you can imagine how many years it took for this natural product to become a drug. And as we know, the penicillin literally saves millions and millions of lives. The penicillin is saving 
because today we can get some light. Most importantly, go for your students are here. So you would be a bit even in wonder why so long? So nature has provided molecules and scientists found some sparkles, some activity, and it took literally another 14, 15 years of community development as well. The reason is penicillin is very unstable. In human body, penicillin stays only few minutes. So you can imagine if you have bacterial infection, and so what would happen? You need the drug to be in the system for hours or days. Ultimately, scientists, many, many, many of, of science, biochemistry, pharmacology, uh, medicinal chemistry, they ultimately learn what needs to be done to convert penicillin into a useful medicine. So, in that context, I'm going to tell you natural products. Nature has been providing molecules. That's a lot of incredible opportunities for discovery and new medicine, today's medicine. And as a result, scientists from over the world always isolate new natural products, try to find new properties, and see where these properties can be used to the product. We took a different route. Our laboratory is also very interested in natural products. Bioactive natural products is a natural product which has a biological activity, that's what bioactivity means. So in the process of making these natural products or, or, or studying natural products, we also needed to discover new chemistry. Very often, chemistry is so difficult. Nature provides a molecule, how to make those molecules, how to investigate those molecules, one has to really discover or build a new chemistry. So my laboratory again, is creating new chemistry just to enable the discovery of natural products and their properties. And in the process, we are dealing with today's medicine, not yesterday's medicine. We are dealing with contemporary problems and human diseases. So this is what I'm going to tell you. So the very first picture I'm going to show you is Spaceable Endeavor. As many of you know, Spaceable is a very important uh, Certainly, endeavor and many reasons across the uh, International Space Center. Space expedition has a lot of challenges, a lot of freedom. Expedition has a lot of unknown, a lot of uncertainties, a lot of discovery. And in the process, also, there are a lot of very serious accidents, as you know, the Challenger, as you know, Columbia. This is going to be over and never came back. So what we do in the laboratory in National Forest Synthesis is all my graduate students, Luke Basaka and Idris Chaver. They, they are working on the synthesis of the molecule. So as you know, engineers put together a space shuttle. Many, many years of practice. Many, many years of literally planning. They put together a space shuttle component by component. This is the this is electronics or electronics. So and, and to have it settled. What we do in the laboratory is not quite as building a space shuttle, but building a molecule is also very risky. A lot of challenges, a lot of new things, and also this expedition, a lot of things are waiting to happen. But also what happened, building molecules for the laboratory sometimes take years and you may not be able to make the molecules. So you can see imagine there are also a lot of supply there. So here, just like engineers build together at the light of by component by component, parts by parts, we put a molecule in the laboratory apples by apples. And then we stitch them together. And the most Seemingly, the most exciting part of this, you don't see this atom, it's all happening in the action flask. And then, after we put on this molecule, then our next expedition is what does the molecule do? What is the biological action? And is it useful? Biological action sometimes in many different kinds of biological actions. They do one, one particular biological action, and then you literally modify the molecule. Use all the properties. So you can see it says that's exactly what happened. Everything was discovered by Isaac Alexander Fleming, 1948. 
it took another many, many years, another decades to develop this product. The molecule we actually made, this molecule is called spice stack, isolated in minute quantity, world supply limited on few micrograms. It turned out it's an exceedingly important the gas aerated, and world supply limited, so we decided that we have the biggest molecule in the world. So you can imagine we can make the world molecule in the world already. So now there are ways to make molecules, you can actually make many kinds of kinds of molecules. Measure this in the one molecule, and now if you have ways to make them in the class, then you can make many different iterations of the molecule. So you can modify the biological properties and possibly you can really modulate biological properties. So that's the expedition. This particular molecule is fundamentally incredibly important. Just imagine every single laminar cell, every single eukaryotic. Need these biological mechanisms called splices. Splices are basically to bond and keeping together all the DNA. The transcripts of the DNA are going to be translated into proteins. These proteins are literally hundreds of thousands of proteins is maintained in other cellular function. So biologically, this machinery splice flow is incredibly important machinery, and this molecule measure has given to us. Is this particular machinery basically blocks that nuclear splice? Now, why are we interested? We have to read mammalians, eukaryotic cells, and they have to leak it. So, you don't want to block those cell function, then it's going to have a lot of toxicity, right? So, the question is kind of that all cancer cells, proliferating, proliferating cells, cancer cells, they proliferate. Splice domain activity is much faster than normal cell. So now you can imagine that possibility. So we could block this splice zone activity and possibly midway to get rid of all the cancer proteins. Now you may be wondering, okay, so now you are also going to be also blocking the splice zone activity. So some normal cell is also going to die. So it's going to have a problem, right? So you think. So that's when the molecular body is also at hand switch and goes to space. It's a bit unthinkable. Today, we have specific cancer specific antibody. These antibody deliver drugs just like the rocket, specifically into the cancer cell. So these molecules now you can actually just communicate them with the, with the antibody, and it's going to be delivered to the specific cancer cell to molecular medicine. Really specifically kill us. So, this is where the science has evolved. So, our laboratory made this molecule. First in the laboratory, we didn't pay, we didn't want this. We made many different molecules, including many antibodies we contacted by antibody spot, antibody therapy, therapy company to collaborate with them. So, this is where the building molecule is so important. So this work is, this is actually valid the mechanism as we published. And now I'm going to show you, just not the synthesizing of the work. So in my laboratory we made not just one molecule. Today we are actually able to work 100 different classes of molecules. And some of the molecules takes literally years and years of making a laboratory, graduate student who's not put it on. Making building the molecules in the laboratory is the best expedition. The best expedition is what does it do, how does it work, and can we really monitor these molecules and make it useful? So I'm not going to go over all these molecules, I'm just going to show you. This is a spice step we just talked about, carboxidase, and trispondylite again, the molecule synthesized in the laboratory. Most recently, and it comes into the laboratory, it is modifying this now based upon what we chemistry were developed. 
I'm going to show you one particular example of very esoteric uh, the usefulness of this mass product chemistry. Very small of volumolite. Volumolite is exceedingly potent anti-cancer agent. This IC is 15 nanogram per mole. Means the molecule is exceedingly potent. However, world supply is limited to literally microgram quantities. So you cannot really do much research with microgram quantities of this molecule. So you have to make them in the laboratory. So making this molecule, those of you are organic chemists, you know the molecule is loaded with steric acid. It has all this sensitive functionality. Within a year, this molecule was synthesized in the laboratory in 2001, and then it actually opened a huge container of work, and this work is now basically so many laboratories all over the world is now working on this molecule. So it turned out the molecule has a very potent anti-cancer activity, and, and, and it turned out this epoxide is actually a very sensitive part of the molecule. The reason what happens is hydroxyl opens the epoxide from a carbon oxygen bond to hydroxyl, and that molecule called isomolomolite, isomolomolite has no activity. And that's why the molecule is transferred. So it turned out when we make this molecule, we install this epoxide at the last bit of the synthesis. And, and when we, then we provided the molecule to NASA Cancer Institute, where Dr. Arnie Hamill is a very, very famous oncologist. So it, it turned out that in this assay, molecule is exceedingly potent, it does not bind the taxoid site. Taxol, fatty taxol is one of the most widely used anti cancer agent for all sorts of cancer. And it turns out it's a completely different mechanism of action. It kills cells resistant to taxol. Basically, we have 200 fold more protein than taxol, and taxol resistant cell life. And then what we found that collaboratively, this oxylobinolite, without this oxygen, this oxylobinolite is as potent as the oxylobinolite. Now, none of these things nobody ever predicted. It's not possible. And it's all possible because of our synthesis. Now, you can imagine that the method to you, this molecule is very unstable. That's why nobody was very really doing that had the synthesis because of these hydroxyl really opens this molecule. And now, it turned out that we don't need this oxide. And that is the oxide that is usually compound that is as potent as the so you can imagine, so we want to be quite stable. And now, many, many laboratories around the world is now working on this, and a German group now found out exactly the molecular level where and how does the molecule inhibits this biological target, which is uh, microtubule, and then the structure of these of our compound down to microtubule. It turned out there's another molecule, fluoroside, which also synthesizes the molecule, Fluoroside and molecule both in the binds on the same side. So based upon these, now we have molecular map. So you can look at the molecular map with your synthetic chemist. Imagination is the limit. So you can modify <laughs> this molecule and create a new class of the molecule to get a modular power. So now I just give you, you know, of course we cannot get into details. Each of this area is a huge area of research. We have been working on many areas. I just want to highlights of this report. Now let's go back to the molecule I talked about. Now we have selected the philosophy. Of course, we need the technology of the philosophy of the thing. Imagine. So the philosophically you may ask who in heart is making on this molecule. It's like a God. God cannot be so busy in building molecules. It's nature, right? Now who in nature is making molecules? Biocentric enzyme. Biocentric enzyme is basically putting together the molecule with billions and millions of years of evolution. Now, what is happening in this molecule, you can see it's loaded with all these peptides, pyrrhine, pyrrhine. This molecule has not a single binding in the molecule. At the same time, biocentric omega 4 enzyme, enzymes have these amino acids, enzymes have peptides and proteins. So nature is basically synthesizing the molecule, 
This is going to be enzyme cell involvement synthesis molecule. So during evolution, you can see this molecule is very close associated to this enzyme, right? But however, you do not see the hydrate protein molecule. There is no part of any amino acids here. So what does that mean? It means these molecules are nothing but mimicking the type action. So we can actually in a dual sense to perform the process of peptide dynamic is basically mimicking the peptide action. That is so. Now, peptides, the molecules do not make drugs. They get into the human body very quickly, get degraded and start And as a result, very, nobody can actually make a peptide this molecule. So here, the nature will give us a little hint. Here is the way you can actually make a molecule in all peptide and really avoid the problems of peptide molecules. Just think of that. Just put that part in your mind. Okay, so let's now, we are organic chemists. I'm a trained as organic chemist. Biology was not my favorite subject when I was in high school. But now I see biology, evolution, and so on, the most exceedingly exciting, interesting area of science. And I just want to know more every day. So now, this simple biosynthetic motivation, how nature is putting together this molecule, can really make this nature secret into our research. And if we do, can we do something that has not been done? We are not at all. We are not. We don't call us. We are not molecular biologists, we are not drug discoverers, but somebody has to do it. And can we really address this issue through our synthesis? Two areas I'm going to show you HIV AIDS, a better situation inhibitors of Alzheimer's disease. So, two enzymes, they're directly involved with the vehicular AIDS virus, propagation of AIDS, and there is a risk for HIV deeper. It's so far, we only have a coronavirus or 80 million people affected by HIV AIDS, and 40 million people already have lost their lives. So you can imagine that this is still now, at least HIV is really taking over. There's no treatment for HIV. So now we really wanted to really address this issue. Can we really address this issue? Do the molecule use the nature secret, and the molecule that has to do it liquidly, has nothing to do with peptide, yes, has some biological bioactive part of the molecule that will avoid peptidic features. So let me quickly show you what you're seeing a historic picture in the field of the past. These are ginkgo trees. Ginkgo trees are full of ginkgo leaves, and we take a fall, ginkgo leaves fall all over, and ginkgo leaves condense. Ginkgo trees immediately existed in the dinosaur era. For 65 million years. So, basically, dinosaurs eat these ginkgo trees, and now you can imagine this ginkgo tree, even today, they're all over the world. So, leaves of the ginkgo tree, biosynthetic enzymes of the ginkgo tree, natural product in the ginkgo tree, nature is optimizing those natural products over 65 million years without them. Just think of that. And what are these molecules? Well, importantly, here is Udi Nathalie, a very famous natural product chemist from Columbia University. He actually isolated all the natural products from the ginkgo tree. And this is his quote The ginkgo tree is from the era of dinosaurs. But while the dinosaurs have been extinguished, modern ginkgo tree did not change. Ginkgo tree is everywhere. Ginkgo trees. And even more shocking the discovery after Adam Bowman, Allied forces dropped Adam Bowman in Hiroshima. Ginkgo tree is the first tree that came up. It's amazing. So when he was born, Hiroshima was like a war monster. Nothing new for many, many years. Ginkgo tree is the first one that actually came up. So you can see the hardy trees, these trees have existed so many years. And it turned out that Dinosaurs have been eating this ginkgo tree, worsening this ginkgo tree. People have been taking ginkgo tree for the treatment of Alzheimer's, dementia, lost memory, cataracts, eyes problems, tetanus, high blood pressure, migraines, 
Yes. That's correct. He said that he used to be able to, and uh, it's how he's been particularly taking Android set for five hundred years. So what are the molecules in the game? The molecules that you go to look like this. These molecules are the inkerite. Just look at the architectural feature of this molecule. I just showed you lolimar, and now I show you the picture of inkerite. Do you see any nitrogen in the molecule? Who makes the molecule? Biosynthetic enzymes, right? The biosynthetic enzymes making the molecule. There is a molecule that is all oxygen. So basically, each of these oxygen is basically mimicking the carbon to bind the carbon to the And look at the, the complexity of the molecule. Basically, this rich architecture is nothing but the carbon dioxide. So our goal became here is another secret. If this ginkgo tree has all these biological properties, it actually passes blood to the brain, gets to the brain, then we take this sort of ginkgo or this of the structure, substructure, maybe this polymers, and if we really incorporate them into the strawberry, then we really remove some of the major problems which are discovered. So very naively, as I mentioned, the we are going to start, but we have this heart. Can you do that? I'm going to tell you this is how discovery starts with one little idea. Sometimes when you get into the area, there's a lot more questions to answer, and then you just have to be again, you feel like you just want to scratch, scratch the surface. And that's a story very quickly out of problem. This is HIV AIDS, AIDS virus gets into the cell, many different machinery, and the virus actually hijacks the normal cell. Makes the protein using normal cellular function, and then HIV produces the enzyme again. Iron packs this enzyme. This enzyme is nothing but biological scissor. It chops this protein, virus makes inside human cells, and make biologically active protein, which is needed to make these viruses. Just imagine these incredibly intricate details of biological mechanism. Now, the question is, so this is enzyme. This enzyme at the end of the stage plays very important role. So now just imagine if you could somehow block this enzyme, you could short circuit the entire replication cycle of the giant blood cycle. If you do, virus no longer can live on it. Right? So how do we really address this problem? So people have been working on this area, and Hoffman and Rose came up with a model for secondary and this is a big history. First treatment for, for HIV, the molecule again, you can see in this molecule, it's loaded with peptide. It has amide bond, peptide bond, amino acid, aspartic, and C. So, as you can imagine, it's a very important molecule to discover the half of the road, how the molecule is unstable. Okay, before I call it, if you want to have grams of this molecule every two hours to have some activity for HIV cases, and you know that is not possible. Just imagine how expensive it is to make. 40 million people are affected right now in, in the world. That's why the number is even more. So, molecule works. So, we decided there is a molecule that works, and we want to use our, use our biosynthetic heart process in the molecule. Basically, we designed the molecule, incorporate the features of glucolide in the molecule. So, this is your asking to us. But my main role as a professor is to teach and train students. I'm, I'm going to pass the laboratory, so we teaching and training students so they can go and, and make the discovery. That is the main goal. So, nevertheless, we wanted to address this issue. So, then we very quickly, we actually learned how to really deal with this molecule. This is a very important part of the molecule. <coughs> this is again the enzyme. And then when you actually remove these and put it in oxygen, something here, the molecule became it's not very potent. I'm not going to go too much in detail, but we realized that this oxygen, this cyclic feature is very important. Then we redesigned this, it stitched to carbon, basically. This molecule has no activity, 1.6 nanomole against the enzyme, against the virus, 1.1 nanomole. No activity, now we actually stitch to carbon, which is called exceedingly potent, modify this molecule, exceedingly potent molecule. 
Then from there, you see it into your own. So I'm just telling you, that's how we see the power. Um, in funding agencies that are able to be independent of public school, and we're going to remove the fifth grade teacher. This is already started. It's an expedition, just like Spesa and Liva and Deva. And this is the where we're at. These are the most potent inhibitor of the gender school kids anybody, anywhere ever created. And this one is just created down the border. It's come from the city, the potent school in Chicago. Cut down the pipes very, very quickly. And you can see the pitch of the model has very little symbols. In Assam, we still have help. We really recognize our discovery. We say, what have we created? We have to really develop the model. Very quickly, they actually started multi center clinical trial. And then they actually went on the highest level. This became Food and Drug Administration approved therapy for treatment of HIV, which never existed before. So this model is from Dalai here, government, US government, and then this model actually approved this, and then we received full approval for all patients, including pediatric patients 14 months old. And now you may be wondering that what are we doing this lab? This model is not a lot more, a lot more questions and answers. Why is it so potent? Why does it work? What is the biological mechanism? So it's a model that has a multiple biological mechanism of action, and this is where we are up on now. So more important, philosophically, I mentioned to you that we had natural product chemists. We want to really open nature's secret, try to understand nature's secret. This biosynthetic machinery, nature is putting together, and we can mimic that. So here is Ebola, now you can see what we have done. The two of these ring systems we found, two ramifications of the molecule, we installed that in the first part. Of course, you may be wondering how long it took you, but of course, it took many, many, many years. So from Ebola to Darmania, so this actually became one of those. We just now scratched the surface. And this became an area of many laboratories all over the world, which is producing these same, same uh, thought process, same conception to really make the molecule. So, in molecular level, I mean, you're wondering so now today's science has changed. We no longer guess how it works. We know precisely the enzyme which is involved in the creation of HIV. Now we know our molecule, what it does do. So our molecule down to this protein exercise structure has been solved. Or what you're seeing, basically the molecule created by the here. This is the two HIV monomers that form the dimeric enzyme. And now you can see the molecule this is basically anchor with this enzyme very, very tightly, just like a crab. Crab is triangle between all of so this molecule literally grabs the enzyme just like the crab. So we call this a molecular crab. It is a molecule that monitors the crab. So this is nothing but a molecular crab. So this molecular crab is a concept not just going to be useful not for each other, all widely, including globally. So now you can see this thought process when we create a cloud gap. So we take this, also same principle is going to be applied. For COVID, it also has an enzyme, which is involved in the creation of COVID. Now, it, hepatitis B, you know, influenza, all these biological diseases have the same principle. So now you can imagine the scientists all over the world that have been busy now using, just using, describing this concept. So, this is molecular crap concept, molecular binding that applies. So, people are just using this. Now, this is not, if you ask a biochemist, molecular biology is going to be resistant, resistant, resistant. Of course, COVID came, then Omicron, then Delta, you know, there's so many different variants. You're wondering whether your vaccine, co vaccine, that is going to work or not. Why? Because tyrants and humans, we have a war here. 
basically it is five between them. They are getting smarter and humans are getting smarter. You can't really meet them in the past. You have to kill them much more. Whoever can win, they will have to have problems. So you can imagine the only problem the COVID came, now you have the Delta variant, Delta variant came, to have now you have the Omicron came, so they changed the virus stream. Why? Because we need a drug. I am now aware of the vaccine. They have to know how to replicate the presence of vaccine for drug. So what do you do? So basically, if you ask them to monitor biologists, biochemists, they will say, okay. You know, mutation, mutation, mutation. Mutations are happening on the side chain. These are fundamentally virus that live in their, in their mind, in the side chain of the enzyme. But what we found, these are not the side chain, these are the backbone. Basically, backbone of the enzyme is equally, which is more important than the side chain. So what we found, that backbone confirmation of all of these viruses, basically, are chain. Why is that so? Because virus can create another virus. Only side chain can be changed. If you change the backbone, basically that virus is not going to replicate. So when we saw that, we thought, okay, so we are going to now, this is the second concept we created fast molecule already. We're going to make molecule that's going to back down to the backbone, just like a trap. We call this backbone binding. So that one binding concept, which is again a concept now, basically should be translated to all biological diseases. It's here to stay. This is the way the old map to make new antivirus. And this method is the one of the bridge. So then we basically created this, this concept. We're going to bind to the backbone, both ends of the virus, and we create a molecule that forms the virus. It's a molecular trap. With both ends. So now, basically, what you want to keep on that is just not a molecular trap. So you have to make a super trap. Okay, just like it's a superman. Okay, so there is a super trap. So using this concept, the people like these are all different iterations. These are all published, extensive published in our laboratory. And they are all exceedingly important compounds. I'm not going to get into it. They're much more. Much, much more potent than the malaria. And there is a super crab created. And this compound is basically, you can see this is the malaria. This is all the world famous HIV, world based HIV in Madrid, So, yeah, the malaria is now, is no longer can stand this based on HIV. So, you need a new class molecule and look at what we create. This molecule is like seemingly potent. So basically, the virus has nowhere to go. So basically, that one binding concept in the molecular design context is going to be now translated into many, many areas of disease, virus of disease, not what is now creating havoc within human uh, society from this country that now is going to be upcoming. So again, you can see what has been done. This is again the molecular trap it didn't find the to the back even more tightly. So that's the concept. Now, COVID, you know, this is actually something we were involved in SARS research in 2003 when SARS arrived. Again, this is a replication cycle. The replication cycle of SARS has many different enzymes involved in replication. These are all enzymes. Each of these enzymes can be targeted just the way I described to you. So very early, very early on, my laboratory actually recognized, you know, many different enzyme target for stopping the replication cycle. And of course, 2003 to 2010, when we started start posing that big of a problem. However, now COVID arrived in 2020, so basically all the groundwork of the drug discovery has been laid. What we have done in the laboratory. Each of these targets has been, has been sold. This is probably one of the most highly cited work we actually unveiled before even COVID medicine was discovered. Of course, we now are Mongolia Bear, which is now in PR2, 67% success rate. 
In fact, some of these were 95 percent success rate, literally stopping all hospitalization patients. It's not widely applicable, but again, this couple of work we actually described already on. One of the areas I will show you feel for again back then we have demonstrated how do we need to reduce enzyme of course on the world where it's graduates to post drops. But the concept and it's all the things where we created is really 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 big is used all over the all over, really on the world is all over the world. So it is molecule, this is the enzyme, the molecule we actually created, you can see it has ditches the gluten enzyme, literally block the function of the enzyme. Enzyme will not have created the virus. Viral replication stops. So this is the molecular machinery that is really now stopping the COVID uh, replication. Now I'm going to show you also we have chemist with the main molecule, high in essence. Again, today the normal scientists are pretty opinionated. We need to really understand chemistry, biology, biochemistry. Biochemistry, so we will have to pull our work. So, science has become a multidisciplinary area. I was working with Roman Tan at Oklahoma University Center. He was a protein biochemist. I mean, he was working on HIV AIDS. Then he discovered a key enzyme in human brain called lupexin, beta secretase. And so, these are the key parts of the human brain are involved in, 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 in Alzheimer's disease. And these are the parts of the carbon products and hippocampus area. So what happened in these two areas of Alzheimer's patients, they are seeing a steep protein deposit. And these steep proteins are produced by these steep proteins are nothing but their neurotoxic it kills their cells. So how so this is normal cells, brain cells, and Alzheimer's patients has this is brain autopsy. You can see this is Proteins and the sticky proteins contains polypolyethylene peptides, neurotoxic peptides. Now, Jordan Penn, he discovered a key enzyme which is involved in beta secretase. Enzymes are polylytic enzymes that are nothing but biochemical season. They chop protein, they create a sticky protein. Just imagine molecular level implication of this discovery. He is really discovered. Biological scissor in the brain, which is involved in making these sticky proteins. And the strategy is starting to this. And we are molecule maker, and we say, okay, if you now really block this enzyme activity, you can stop the formation of the sticky protein. And you can really stop Alzheimer's disease progression very, very early in the age. I don't have to press the protein to see the brain cells. If it very secretly chops first, Gamma secreted, which is a very important enzyme inside the cells. So basically, it's a membrane bound as with acid protease. So you can imagine this is where it has to cut. And that actually produces it chops here, chops here, and this is called a beta beta protein. And these proteins are the key ingredient in the neurotoxic peptides that we want to use to develop that and the main causes the Alzheimer's disease. So what do we do if you are if you are a scientist? He said, okay, here is the enzyme. We, we study this enzyme and make a molecule that will block the activity of the enzyme. If you do, so if you create a molecule that really blocks the activity of this enzyme, what is going to happen? Basically, no longer can cut this thing, no longer can produce a sticky protein, and you can really meet this it's very, very hard state. Again, it's a naive thoughts. Who is going to get into this? So we are collaborating with biochemists. We could design a molecule, and that is precisely where we have gone. We open up a continent of work. So we incorporated and took the peptide, normal peptide, which is main processes. We engineered a piece which looked like a peptide, but nothing, it has nothing to do with peptide. This molecule became a very potent compound, literally blocks the enzyme, and then we, we created a longer peptide. And this compound is exceedingly potent, blocks the activity of the enzyme. Now, you may be wondering, for the most interesting, the peptide does not make drug. But here is the molecule has no drug activity, but this is a concept. So, basically, we were able to now create a molecule that, on the test tube, you can stop the function of this peptide. 
not from there, not from the all from here, and it's the seven minutes almost to draw down. That's exactly what we call. Protein, this is the enzyme structure. So again, science has evolved on several levels, getting a protein structure structure into parts of unthinkable. Okay. Before that it was completely unthinkable. Now we have the power of endocrine stores. Now proteins are a huge macromolecule. Now you can actually have protein extra structure to do the basis of that. That's how science has not actually advanced. So we created this molecule in the laboratory that goes actually isolated this enzyme in the brain. Just picked up the result of it. Here is the molecule we created in the laboratory, absorb this enzyme. So now that we basically soak our compound with this enzyme, and he gives the first crystal structure where and how does the molecule Finds this enzyme and blocks that, so he created the molecule. So, this is the molecule, the same molecule, but you can see, basically, it just gets in between these two things now, get molecule out. So, now you have a new map of discovery of new molecules. So, now just imagine the implication of this work. Within literally days, everybody jumped in the wall. It is all science. There is no therapy existing. Within days, people are coming up with lots of molecules. GRS stands for going to test laboratory. This is a molecule that you can see the original molecule. This is the molecule we created. So you will be wondering how you go from peptide to peptide to peptide. And you can see the original molecule. This is just a small molecule that has nothing to do with peptide. Exceedingly important compound. Even single in the peritoneal injection with Alzheimer's mice model. This is normal. It reduces the brain area that is protein up to 65%. Single dose. They created Alzheimer's mice. These mice basically they hide in the trees and they have a swimming pool, it's called water maze, and they normalize within minutes they'll find the swim and go outside and find the cheese and eat them. But Alzheimer's mice, you know, they they don't know how to do that. They forget. And so this is the modern they created Alzheimer's mice, genetically engineered mice. And they actually need the protein of them. They put this small drug we created in the laboratory. They implant it in the brain every day for six months long. Experiments putting micrograms quantity of this drug. So it turned out these mice, they begin their cognitive function. Before they could not even know, their bacteria they sit down and get stopped. They found a way to not sing, both does so, of course, we have the therapy for mice. This has to be replicated in human. So, this is where you can see the main the laboratories are now working on these. Our work at the University, critical groundwork for basic research drugs, basically, now near the groundwork for working on health is therapy in drugs. Now, there's 13 drugs that have been advanced in the past. In the process, also, we learned you know, this, this enzyme in the brain. And the same enzyme is the pancreas, different form of this enzyme in the pancreas. And this enzyme is involved in regulating insulin in the pancreas. Just imagine what you can go into. If there's an enzyme which literally is regulating insulin production, stopping the insulin production, if you block the enzyme, what can happen? You can use more insulin. So you could probably have a very, very miserable therapy for diabetes. Millions and millions of people out there suffering for diabetes. There is very hard to live. So this is also an area uh, just literally you never know, imagine for Alzheimer's disease uh, to get into the area of diabetes. Okay, last few minutes, very quickly, I will told you that I told you that we have to discover new chemistry. New chemistry, many of you are sick of chemistry science, and so you the new chemistry also has really a you know, new way of thinking. Making, you know, here is the ester, making this carbon carbon bond, making, you know, making new uh, carbon centers are very important areas of, you know, that, that discovery. So we have created these, so it turned out that it's no way to get anti alcohol Many of you have done on alcohol chemistry and alcohol chemistry, so this is how we make anti alcohol or hydroxy on the other side. 
So this is probably the most perfect way, most perfectly effective way of looking at download factors. We can use that in the graphic summary. And now we kind of understand about the molecular level why that molecule works. So we did this principle. This is the molecular mechanism. Titania is called no ideation, another titanium of this Zimmerman transparency complex. Then we challenge our thought process. We have a thought process, we were to make sure that whether it works or not. Then we thought oxygen is totally correct. Now oxygen comes in the algae, then we have the same part, the same uh, arrangement. In the process that we know that titanium is oxyphilic, so it's probably going to swing back. Uh, we should not get any time, we should get seen at all. Hydroxyl is going to be the same size. Then we screen the oxygen containing amnesty, and look at the little plain molecular chase with certain chemistry. Depending on the amnesty, oxygen containing amnesty has little seen specific alcohol product, making the oxygen size spherically hindered, switch back to anti, move the oxygen, and you get it. So at your own will, now you can basically now be seen as a chemistry of this chemistry, it's very widely used. In the, in between drugs and in different areas of our medicine. In fundamentally, we know about these are all work on monomerical. Fundamentally, the organic reactions are reactions means you get A and B and combine them for A. Okay, that's the reaction of you know, all molecules, one reagent A, another reagent B, and A. Just imagine if you create a reaction, discover a reaction, a lot of reaction, that is A, B, C. And if you combine them, then you can create molecule A, B, C, C, A, B, B, C, A. So you can have a lot of different combinations. And that's going to be very, very, very fun and beauty to that. Now just imagine if you do four, five, six multiple reactions. What would be the possible? So here is a prototype we have we call asymmetric multicoupling reaction. Diabetic man, independence of two ester, independence of this acid, we call it carbon carbon bond. Then we have another component, two components. In the process, this is where we get out. This component comes from here. This component comes from here, actually, the multicoupling reaction. And we can do this in a single stage. With complete control of steroids. And from there, you now you can see an analysis lower the wall, that this is a trans amino acid, cyclic amino acid. You can make all these pretty substituents. We can actually rearrange that to make a new heterocyclic molecule. DNA is all of the old genetic information stored in DNA. Right? Now, nucleic acid in search, you need to make specific DNA. You could make the specific DNA in a single step. And it turned out that these DNA molecules are basically about drawing caps. You have to test the Ebola virus. It's also very potent in Ebola virus. This is once on registry. Now we can say, you know, discover other reactions under this cyclic steroids in case I. So I just want to really quickly show you how chemistry, the new chemistry, because of the demand, also we discovered new ways of doing chemistry. And these are unprecedented discoveries in our laboratory, and these are extensively published. Again, we are not doctor. You can see this is also a part. This is a molecule which is still created. It's a symmetric molecule, has no chiral center. It's a symmetric plane of symmetry, has no chirality. C1, you have this molecule, move this double bond here, and now C actually reacts to Lewis acid and different aldehyde because of C is created. The new molecule containing two carbon center in two regions. This is what we have done. It's just published. So you can see again in scratch the status of these. So conceptually, these are all new chemistry, the new way of doing genotypical molecules, possibly have new applications to them. Uh, 
This is a work from Monica Yellow. She just graduated last year. She did a job in media sciences in San Francisco. This is a produce doctor. The mathematician created this. This is a dinosaur. So again, you can see what Monica has created. In a single state, we created this molecule. We do five plus recycleration. We do all our green solar reactions. Four plus recyclations. Green solar reactions. We can do five plus green. In a single state, you can see we have to create all the molecular architecture, complexity, and complete control of characteristics. Again, these are all just problems we have to really have in a handle today. So this is what you can get to do if you come to my level. That's why I tell my students always, if you are in your life, then we have a level. If you are ready to make a difference, you can see this stuff, and you can see your journey. How is going to change? So I know many of you wanted to be a doctor, right? And yes, if you are a doctor, you have a chance to save many lives. But at the same time, with your discovery of medicine, you can save millions and millions of lives. You can crush your life. So this is the power of science today. So whatever you do, just put your mind in that area to be a part of the you can do something dramatically to manage the situation. So this is what you have to do in your opportunity to use this opportunity and use that and see how much you can go, how much you can achieve. Your imagination, your desire to be your dream. So I have the fortunate to really fortunate to work with over 200 researchers in the world, over 60 or so graduate students. And I'm uh, very close to our company, to Stop Off for a while to work with it. I'm happy to tell you that we have so many of my students are all over large universities. And many of them are general manager and the department head in many, many top hospital directors. So those of you are students here, just don't stop. If you have a desire to do something, just find an opportunity and use your desire. Go well, after the desire and just do something, and you have the power. You have the power to win. So, now I'm going to tell you the conclusion of the natural product test. We are trained as an organic synthesis guy. We can make molecules. Now, today, because of the necessity, our molecule building ability in our body is very, very deep areas of human medicine. We never could imagine that we are going to be here. Structural integration, how we can see the nature is making molecules, we try to understand the nature space. So we are also that inspiration we have taken into our design of, of molecules. That combining concept, the simple concept of really making molecular product, how that can be translated. So that may be a very important concept for really having a new therapy for tomorrow. And there are reasons. And simply that just I told you that for our chemistry, we are not just bound by what has been done. Very often, we make a use of challenge to build new molecules to meet the cell. So, with these, I'm going to tell you so please visit my website. It's a like my graduate students, it's a postdoc portfolio. My work is very, very, very. Uh, uh, interdisciplinary, and even my own son is actually doing biology acid. He's actually a biologist, he's doing research for this acid biology. He wants to, he wants to uh, really, uh, do this thing, and, and then all of our work is funded by the National Institute of Health. This is the group, the current group, and, 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 and this is my son, AJ. And thank you. And so, for the university, you can see we say they're enjoying life here. It's 47,000 students. Our graduate program is one of the third largest in the United States. Walmart, North America, this is for being global. You know, they always carry people all over the campus. And the fall, all these colors, beautiful colors. All the trees have been 
It's just a game. It's just secret. And this leaves all this incredible amount of interest in there. So for you, for me, I'm not that there for you to discover. Think of that. So you guys are all no longer soccer, but American football is different. And so for me, it's also a very big football thing. So we have the stadium, it just go absolutely crazy. And we have the drop. It happened in the world's largest drop. But this drop is so big, you get to many, many guys as carriages, and they jump up and down and start to beat the drop. Okay. So I enjoyed very much being here. And thank you so much for coming. Now, now I request that uh, all of you, if you have any question uh, regarding uh, acquiring uh, regarding this weather in Asia, one of the questions may come from a student. Yeah, don't be afraid. You can ask me the problem. Yes. Yeah, very, very good question. So you think the molecular level. So we were able to really see this issue only when living body stress structures are small. Living body stress structures are small, and we were actually overlaying all the backbone population. You know, the fact is, you know, the molecular wire is the main chain, and the side chain is sitting there, all the things happen to the side chain. So what we discover from the crystal structure, the living body is crystal structure, the backbone population remains completely unchanged. And here is the secret. So this can be few really tinker with backbone population, you twist and turn it, that virus, that means to get for replication. So that's how we decided to forget about mutation, we have the molecule that's going to bind to the back. And so that's why the backbone is. So in the event of mutations, all the backbone addresses would remain the same, right? Because backbone is not changing from one to the other. Yes. Uh, So that's why now here's the power of organic chemistry. So the molecule we create in the laboratory that is the molecular crab. That molecular crab is very specific for one particular virus. Okay, so the molecular crab we create for HIV proteas is not going to be used for COVID proteas. So that's why you have to really design the molecule. So as a result, you know, of course, that's a very good question. The human body. Many different kinds of proteases. So you cannot really, if it blocks all the proteases, the normal body function is going to stop. So these molecules are extremely specific only to block the virus at the time, viral at the time, because it is designed specifically to stop that. Yes. So, uh, oh, yes. Very good. So, so of course, the backbone of 
of that world, the entire protein backbone does not change. When you build the molecule, all of the molecules, they are binding on the active side. They're binding on the active side of their job. Yes. 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 The backbone, sir, and it is the dead backbone. If you think about the protein, it is the backbone. If you think about the nuclear, it is sugar phosphate backbone. That is backbone. If you go for DNA, you have to nuclear acid, sugar phosphate. If you go for RNA, you have nucleic acid. That is also sugar phosphate. That is the backbone. So that is meaning that, but we, by mutation, it can is, so you don't know, I'm telling you. Mutation mutual, if there is a glycine site, it will change its value. That means your site can be changed. I said, meaning that one. You prepare the food cell. So, the bites are not in, these proteins are not in the biochemical system. This is also another major secret. This is too normal. These are all water to the back. This aspartic acid, this is coming from one polymer. Now the last part of it from the three monomer, and this is where the entropic happens. This is the scissor. So this is the scissor. This is where the protein comes in and it cuts it. This is where it's created. This can pass. This is the active side. This can be this can be the block of scissors going. The molecule created, this can block the active side. So yeah, backbone is all in the back. We are not worried about almost on the backbone, we are only worried about the backbone of the active side.
Now I request now I our second lecture from Professor Professor in Biochemistry Department of Life Science, Epigenetics and Cancer Research Laboratory, NIT, Raukel Laurisha. His main research interest is genetics and epigenetics aspects of tumor development of cancer population. Professor Patro did his MSc, a BSc from Mondawan University, MSc and PhD from Kolar University. Senior academic training, McGill University, Montreal, Canada, postgraduate. Fellow University of California, California, postdoctoral fellow University of Vasco, Vasco country and Spain. More than 100 papers under his study and some important with a high impact factor journals are same can biology, gene, mechanical aging and development. PPA, molecular basis of disease, experimental cell biology, cellular and molecular life science, and so on. So many, many. And award many, like INBB Fellow, Rome, Italy, NCI, McGill Fellow, NIH, Japan Society of Promotion of Science, and National Scholarship Government of India. So I request Professor. Patro to deliver his valuable lecture and we will be very much very happy. Professor Patro. Thank you, Sapunda. To be all of you who don't know, Sapunda is a good name. As a nice human being doing good science. And I am a biologist and he is a botanist. And just being a senior, but in November, many years because of close proximity of the hostels, where he was BTAD, I was a MSA student in the biology department. I think that I think it's a very good thing. Then I think the program could have been close touch. And thanks to the social media that brought us back together. And then one fine morning that we talked since 2014, I got an email from Dr. Host that somebody had been come, Professor Chakravarti, I'm going to approach him now later. We'll be visiting my lab. I told him, Sapunda, it would have been very exciting for me if you told me 15 to 16 days. Back, but you could not submit a company last year study, and I thought that it would come. Anyway, many times we got interacted with many issues, but the uh, opportunity was not clear. This day, when a foreign officer, a host, is visiting from Peru, and he will be talking about some <coughs> fundamentals, uh, natural products, and then previous and as many speeches as you know, the demos, and etc. on the lecture. In fact, this lecture may be easy for me, I did not tell you many things about that. Okay, uh, the lecture will be very easy. But one thing I will tell you that what we frequently call nature, nature and nature. Actually, being a botanist, geologist, biochemist, even chemist, as you see, Professor Boss, we are bothered about the origin of life. Well, we don't know as a billion how the life actually began. Since we are analyzing proteins, nucleic acids, etc. And we find those things in our living body in every aspect of protein, non-seed, protein, or red, whatever I mean, living organisms we analyze. In a non-living entity like viruses, when they are entering through your cells and host cells, they are then at that point they are living. So, in this way, when we look back, generally all the scientists, those who are really working and up to it and going through top food, imagine a cell. They always think how we can correlate with the chronology of evolution. Every single entity, I will show you, I am not an evolution and a biologist, but when the molecules we are considering, and my name is particularly at Bartimus, as some of the told, and I did mean, initially in my PhD from Colony University in the protein like interactions, particularly molecular medicine, journey suspects, and nice thing. What I showed in my PhD thesis is that bilirubin how to damage the cells is that it forms liquid crystals. And we have shown it. Experimental, clearly that bilirubin forms crystals, liquid crystals. And it transmits to the different 
Then we come to the normal media law, the 10 nanometer fiber. Then this it holds 30 nanometer bone fiber. And then another holds loops and domains, cathodes and cytoform. In a typical electron microwave structure, you can visualize a little bit about them. 300 then loop domains, 300 nanometer fiber, as you can see, the metaphase chromosome. It looks like that. Every zoologist, botanist who looks about the metaphase chromosome, it looks like that one. Now, if you look the typical structure when it is coming about the models of this zone, you see it is nicely shown by a typical graph, but it's not combined. H2A, H3, H2A, the backside, H2A, another one like that, H2B, H4. But it is not like this when you are synthesized. So when you DNA will be like that, at that time, H3, H, H4 came from us. The new stands, double stands. One is the parental, another is the graph, and possibly forget about Then there are some issues set up. They put the H2H2 with the gamma, with the help of some energy that is getting ahead of These are typically known as assembly, domain assembly, associated with stone set up. Now, the levels it has been the same, DNA, that is both stone. Okay, the are there, the domes, which are the same model, all of you know that one. Now, what is the difference? What is the difference between two? If you have all the genes in your every cell's nucleus, but liver is different, your heart is different, your lung is different. Why? That means the preferential expression of the associated gene. If you look to the liver function, and then the liver gives you many enzymes, it breaks your, your living process. Or, or, or in the other way, when you come to lung, you will see a lot of other proteins, surface active proteins are highly spread. When surface active proteins in your cell tissue, when you are inhaling it, your lung will be volume increasing. So this will be clear if there is no problem. So these are surface active proteins. So they help the tissues to remain. Tissue integrity is maintained by this lung subtractive group. So, what is the basic difference? Why well, these enzymes, uh, genes are differentiated? The mechanism is coming to all the histones and DNA actually. That is chromatin. Chromatin is modified. That is chromatin modification. And that is the main study at molecular level of epigenetics. And it has given the last 30 years. It is showing that epigenetics has revolutionized the understanding of cancer progression and various other things. So just look at these liver cell nucleus, available activators in the liver, and you will be in the press. You know, my movie is a mandanda in your position. So it is expressed, but in case of your lens, I am cells. Or in the albumity, it is not expressed, it is not expressed. So practically, it is expressed. Your eye is probably. So this is the specificity. The genes are preferentially activated by a modification mechanism of the chromatin that is DNA and histones. And that is the main focus of today's lecture. Now, how you know it is not whatever we are doing, it is a genius scientist, that is really done here. So Conrad Al Wadington in 1942, he proposed that he was doing research in organogenesis. So he told that when it is different in there, so there is a difference of gene expression. And he, in that way, at that time when he was doing in 1940, but then he had the model was proposed in 1953. He had not that much information about the molecular level structure. He told, according to his intuition and his data, he said that these are differentially regulated and these are changes. And later on, the first molecular identity of that, Rutherford B. Hopkins, he published in 1945, he the identified vital cytosine. And at that time, he named it as vital cytosine. So, if you will read, if the rest part will be deleted, and you will need an association, for full scientific. So, Washington was working with a group of biologists here in the Muslim they had. And he later. Top plus names, normal organs, etc. You have association of that top, and you have discussed. And at that time, 
he was a top boss. I mean, that is one of the top world leaders. He was designated as the last the Regents of Biology. In the hardly point, any biology who had nurtured so many kids and given falseless predictions. That is the most important key factor. Now, genetics and epigenetics. What I already told you from the lecture, you understood. So, we generally call it genetics, particularly inheritance of the genes from the ancestors. And how it works, that is genetic study. And whatever is the disease that says, happens, that is the genetic disease also for me personally today. But, you know, the allelomorphs, all of you know, if one of the DNA scans is inactivated by mutation, there is still another one. If it expresses, you are good, no problem. From outside, nobody will be able to understand that you have such a big problem. But if that is also good, that is also good sinus, then you are in trouble. So that's it. In epigenetics, alterations, the modification should be doing, and whether it is true, the soma derived and what is the identity will come step by step to learn about that. So now go back to the hypochemistry, the building blocks of DNA, you know, identity, all these other techniques are there, and you know. You can do the oxidation process and the reaction you are getting in what is this? Nucleotide. That is it. Now, first I am showing you CEG, cytokine and bonding. Let me use that here. Super phosphate backbone, all of you know that is the backbone structure. Typically, what has been known in cancer cells is that if you scan through the genome of the any cancer cell, particularly genome quality hypomethylation and gene specific hypomethylation is also. Genome wide hypomethylation means if cytosine will hit the bone, it will be elevated, it can only fall as a DNA methylation. After methylation parts are there in the enemy, etc., we will not talk too much about that part. Now, what happens is that the PTCG sequences are there, the gene. They are clustered and they are methylated at peak position of cytosine with the help of an enzyme known as the methyl cluster. And in human, there are three active enzymes are there: the AD1, the AD3, and the AD3. And here are the others. Let us look at the chemical reactions here, as you can see: the AD1, the AD3, the AD3, and the And the co factor which gives supply the CAC, the chemical, is the magnetic group. It supplies the gas is from ACE adenosine methane exam. You know, when I was working in Canada, I was giving the lecture, first to talk to you with part of the committee, so that's why you were using SAM. You know, it's every day to work with the product. ACE adenosine methane. So, this group is converted here, as you see, by the cell it will come again, and DNA immediately co factor. My major emphasis in my lab is to improve up the DNA. And particular type one can be drank from these in the year we are studying. So that we are going to several molecules by the molecules and proteins. So that what is ongoing that is not yet discovered. Now, if you look at the DNA one function, as well as other gene methyl cluster, that is known as DNA one gives maintenance methylation. But the application is ongoing. Your one stand is methylated properly, and a new stand took no methylation. So the methyl cluster will become bind and typically. Just in the reverse position, it will do as far as it was in the metabolic part. So, then what will happen? If it is essential, particularly what happens for this DNA is PHTB, de novo methylation within the germ cell. Just after fertilization, you see the majority of the metabolic genome can be methylated. Metabolic genome remains intact. And then the next biology comes up. The new pattern will start from the germ. And at several rounds, particularly up to the formation of the three binary genome, the dark cell binary layers, that is ectoderm, ectoderm, and endoderm. From that, if the other tissues are defined, the brain is defined from the ectoderm, ectoderm will be defined, defined in your lungs, etc., and so on. Typically, I cannot tell which one is coming from whom, but what I told, try it. So, people go for that one. So we look at this one, and if we look at the pre-influencer development, maternal pro-nucleus, it means methylated DNA modifiers, etc. are there. Now, if you look at the 
previous we don't know how do we know that we modify the surfaces of the property so we see opening up the property to direct modification of resource is things and acceleration and methylation are the dominant and you know from your study particularly in our level like my shopunda trivanda or in your study at the time it was a strong one pointing to the phosphorus at the time this one phosphorus was the only one and in 1960s until then we told that protein can be acidic but that was not taken into measure at all we used that day so it's simply we are going to the and majority phase due to phosphorylation of this one so now we know it can be acidic and acidization of this one takes the measure for activation of the gene this one modification by this one acidic phosphorylation and this one methylation are done by this one methyl phosphorylation they have and they can be acidic Basis for the histone code hypothesis generated from this. But later on, it was found that in E. coli, the property is genetic code you know, from E. coli to human being. This result. Whatever code you define, blessing, this blessing. Also, some mutation and variant are there, they are exception. We don't bother, they are not found. Major evolution of all, whatever discussed, all are common diagram. But when histone modification comes, The board that we have put here to this is a digital board. Later on, how we do not follow the topic. We put a board that is complicated, the complicated structure. So we cannot define a new digital board. So that is this kind. So they have opened up the market to direct digital board modification. That is a very dependent process. That could be possible. And another is positive of digital boards. It creates from the different requirement for new model. Now, which one might be some specificity there? So, just I will give you an example. I will not take too much time. Let's consider this one free. At the fourth position, there is a lysine. A lysine only can be there. H three K. That is histone three lysine four. H three K four. Try any calculation. It will be very strong or very weak. But then we will go for H three K nine. Then it will be very weak. Here is the complexity around for this methyl sulfate. But in most cases, when we require the acid hydrogen, that is, the K9 acid hydrogen always gives the active one. Then the gene will be transcribed. When it comes about H3 K9 acid hydrogen, and this one will be rising at the 9th position, acid hydrogen, and staying is there in the 10th position of this one. It is also related, it is very huge signal for acid hydrogen. So, in that way, there are variations. They have the correlation with the DNA expression. We we'll find in certain cases all these things. I cannot. I mean, it will be necessary here. So it happens in that way. We come. Now we look at this. This one modifying in that. This is a lot of. When I am getting these slides, the one from 2009 when I visited this old university. Uh, at that time, that was my first time. Redefined. So these are the typical enzymes you see. As you can see, three substrates are given here. At one, then this one acidic transferase one, H four K five K two. Then if you use the DCN five, or the H three K nine to forty K eight, the positions are defined here, and so on. If you look at this, now as a whole, what is happening in the cell? Then I will. Oh, what happens? You know, this is famous. All of you know. This is simple. You know, when the promoter, the box, etc., is there, the box is there. We can't make the money. But who is doing that? That is the history of money. This is the pattern and their association with that. So what happens is that at the point of the proteins, the points are coming into the inner circuit. And if you go there, you know, in the distance, upstream or even in the downstream of the body of the gene. They have to be announced, and they have to form the platform. All these activated proteins will bind first. Then your paramyelin protein will come and it will be formalized by your paramyelin protein. As you see at the top, based on factors, I don't think based on factors. Then coding media will come and it will get your RNA after that. And it initially goes wrong. My family said it more than fifty years back. It was almost except the announced part, but activated proteins are discovered. When it is discovered, it's come. 
we redefine it this way. There are a lot of work in essence here before we come to the transcription problem. And then you have seen the manipulation pattern of DNA as well as other histones. So now if you look at the evolution of epigenetic regulation in mitochondrial genome, you will see. I have given an example just of the analytical exam. We have a post transcription model modification. PTMG post transcription model modification. You see, HTK4 form. It can be monomicrated, it can be One, the great family in, in, in Holland, 
that time you have part of the cinema artist from USA and uh, maybe sorry you remember that you can be really feel the problem from the you know anyway that's okay yes she uh, moved from uh, Holland to USA at you know Tokyo Motor Film and you know at that time Kevin the one who is in her side room that Kevin talked and DNA analysis at that time some report was there a variety some due to some other issues and later on uh, some traumatic shock gave her the same kind of underlying molecular activity so quickly it happened so when you had a shock like that particularly if you are a preventer you went through the preventer trauma and then again come back to a different movie in shock and when you come up the second time then you easily overcome that they see that so they will start acting as a competent they will quickly explain and also uh, at this point I must mention what we the Indian scientists we don't know about the and we don't know what is what but one scientist they they appreciate it but they look at they don't know maybe any 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 kind of thing we must know if the cartoon processing the sound uh, naturally the way it it likes time doing of the baby also and how it happens? It happens, let's say you, you are listening a sweet song, and if you want baby, I mean, even a mother is listening when you never be in mother's home, you will see that baby has a certain sense of listening. It. And if you go from the movie, study the shape up, and we go not from my other body, that other than the body, but the way we need to focus on nature or the energy mechanism, I must say that one. So now, another thing, if you look at the species one, species two, species three, some of the jumps you will find different proteins and their ability, but you will find the enzyme in the room that is the house with the genes. The vacuum system is a system for energy function. Without energy, you cannot survive. These are known as house with the concepts. You will see, they are known as a house with the concepts. If you look at the exoplanet of people at all, and you look at the exoplanet of human, you will see a lot of different dimension sequence, total number of many vacuum. One third dominant Like this, where the glucose uh, binds first, then it goes. You cannot. Now, you take a extract cylinder input by a molecule to trap and it will not work. So, it might have been stopped. So, now what we are doing in my lab, I will give you a bit check. I hope that I have to give you a strong idea about the projection and a lot of things are remaining to discover. So, what we are doing? We are doing here epigenetic mechanisms so that we generate cell signaling, we express it and capture it. But if some cellular system will have to be used over, oh, that's why I took some cancer cells and we, in the next figure, you will see the student, my first PhD student, she is in Edinburgh now, a group of staff scientist. She completed her PhD in 2014, and then after she moved to Oxford, and then with a neutral fellowship, she is working now in the University of Edinburgh, where the Sundar Hall of Art will become a faculty of education. So, Edinburgh is a famous in many respects. So, you see, she, <coughs> she told the sir, I will work hard and I will go to Calcutta and train some cancer people. So, along with these molecular analysis to analysis a huge amount of cancer so far. And we have more than 100 instruments in breast cancer. We have about 80 to 90 colon cancer tissue blocks. And when we find a new in the, in the, the cellular cycle, we can analyze the new that this gene or protein is hyperactive, we can have to go compress the new cancer to redefine that yes, this could be this in the category. So, what happened at that time that I joined the institute in 2009 to develop an institute, life science department, nothing to do. Just you know, put rocket chairs, clean room, and use the department, and you have to compete with the such a engineering field. And you know, energy is huge. You know, from the side. But I will show you that today I don't have time. That what the way I said, I, I, I did my first workout from the University of Boston, involves 
the IO that it is growing and amplifying the growth of the microorganisms or the cancer cell or the such or the other diseases. But we generally go for nowadays a lot of things are available to go for research. We we it could react. And particularly if you mind to the active side or any other low. So no there's a return of the product factor. In that way, and this is nice to help. What you must see is CNEP is now a sub scientist at the National Institute of Health and Agriculture. CD is some time before it was, and they published a lot of papers out of our work. You see, classically, I just explained by this year, and the total that we want to read similarly. And Sal was telling me about the splicosome inhibitor that is splicostatin, not Sal, you know. And you know, we use trichostatinase, that is trichostatinase, we use trichostatinase, that means histone dissipate. And histone dissipate, you know, if it is inhibited, then the acceleration will be limited. And it can take treatment with trichostatinase and very low concentration, but it could be nanomolar concentration, it gives a magic problem. And apart from that, that's something that is good. You know, whenever in the medicinal discovery, it will be harder to find any other um, group which revolutionizes the new uh, drug product. Other than the That's why in chemistry and biology, we know that methyl and magic, some of them. Methyl and magic. Methyl and magic. Methyl and magic. you put that one? Methyl, you know, I can be in the And it comes and a lot of pharmacy are alive about the only methyl. Here I am showing methyl and magic. Similarly, what you will do? Synthesis as a drug, again, you can do it. And so on. The way we do it, some of the things also. All these things where we are mining, energy, etc. Then activity is measured, how many hydrogen bonds they are forming, what is the total amount of energy releasing, and total amount of the heat free energy, energy light, and in the radius cell, that is solar panel. So that the now all these things are basic. So we don't do it. Now you see an angle of 32 molecules or fifty yards on the different parasites we do. And then from the cell product, we correlated with them to the binding sites, the activity were measured using the G score, etc. All these things. So now I will stop telling to the students on the one issue. Sir, I may do the disk, I cannot to read the uh, the the veterinary which you have. Similarly, you need students, you must not say that there are one whatever you want to grab, grab whatever. And it is a more interesting part, so that claw, your molecular clap, before many years, the clap claw is defined in the end of the world, and the clap is the end of the world, and so the molecule is wrapping the peptide bonds. And DNA, 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 and I will hope that. So, molecular values are different or not, we are very strong. So, even the interaction I was not so, they will make that. I said to it from my dad and my collaborator, the Sushi Rubudia, many about the happy drugs we have tested in different forms, autophagy, happy landings, etc. And all other things, this is 2009 to this. Pretty endless journey. There are so many data out there, I cannot finish. I will show you some of the pictures of my dad's students. See here, these are the alumni days, and that something they are hard for PhD or for those students. One more is they are in Edinburgh, but they are also in Edinburgh. We are doing association working together. They are falling in love, they are married, they are settled, they are some of them are best students. She did so many works. Some of them are not. And they are not all of them, but now she is in Edinburgh. Totally homemade. So now we believe she got, and now she is going again. After a couple of years, I asked her to go back home. Common sense program. Common sense program is limited to program on what is happening in the colleges. Post-doctoral studies are also there. Some of them is there in Germany. And this is only for what I have really said about the world. And you tried to understand it. You will be in Germany. You will do work. But it's some unusual feeling throughout the body. It is not detected to that. And he was not able to achieve it. He did that. After four years of work. Just Another one here, there's some of the pieces and some experiences, very unfortunate. That's 
like, I know, this is a lot of other things when we hear some big words, some are big words, some get, because they were not able to cope up. Most of these are now correct. This journey, after three years, we got the Dalai Government to publish. The Dalai Government to publish 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 the after uh, five to six years coming back to the US, I never came to the US. And other situations, this is just a with me. Uh, so stopping here, this is some of the students. And I just summarize with me, I will turn to four more seats and slightly I was teaching them going for a while. And suddenly, they just didn't want two hours. After one hour, I stopped. I will go, have a tea, snacks, etc. Then we were. Oh my god, they bring all the chocolates and say you have to pass it to your parents to get the official birthday. No, we post up for all that two birthdays. Only the official one is here. Okay? And we will go back down. There is no birth certificate that the papa will go to the only birth certificate. So anyway, you know, the papa is here, and that's like a company is going to say, no, 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 no. So, who are you? Who can be the best?
Are there any more? No. So, so, many thanks to uh, Professor Swami Patro for giving a lucid lecture on epigenetics and cancer in my formation and others diseases. And Professor uh, Patro is very uh, near to me already. Uh, I have mentioned and mentioned. And <laughs> now I am seeing that many professors and students from different universities, colleges and institutes